What's going on, YouTube world? This is your guy, Sills the Man. Thank you for coming back. As you see, we are back on our nighttime edition episodes. Those are the best ones, right? I love the vibes, I love the energy, and I just want to keep it going. So first off, if you have the time, take some time out to just sit back, relax, and hang with your guy, Sills the Man, and let's talk about some important things that I know you will find uh, valuable, all right? Tonight, we're gonna to talk about attraction. One of the most embarrassing moments I've ever experienced, ever went through in my life was when I remember I, I, I didn't grow up with money, you know, like a lot of us haven't. Um, but somehow the kids in the hood always had nice kicks, man. <laughs> I don't know how they did it, but they did it, man. And, you know, good for them at the time. But um, I just ain't have it like that. You know what I'm saying? So I remember one time. Uh, I, I begged my mom, mom, can you please give me some Timberland boots? Timberland boots back in the day were like the epitome of classiness and richness. As a kid, every kid wanted that, you know what I'm saying? So, remember, and uh, she was like, uh, no, first of all. <laughs> and she said, two, we can go right to Payless. Payless was a thing back then. Uh, we can go right to Payless, get you some boots. That looks just like those Tims that you see those kids wearing, and you'll be just fine. And in my head, I said, she, she's trying to destroy my childhood. She's trying to eliminate all possibilities of me ever getting a girl. I see what you're doing, mom. It's cool. But out of my mouth, I said, thanks, mom. You know, <laughs> can't disrespect your parents. You know what I mean? You got to be grateful. So she bought me these boots, right? Man. <laughs> They look just like the Timberland boots like that everybody was wearing at the time. Just $150 cheaper. <laughs> that was it. They look just like them, yo. The only thing is they didn't have that logo. <laughs> they did not have the Timberland tree in the, in the bottom right and bottom left corners of the respective shoes. It was just blank. So anybody who really paid attention to my boots knew that I had some Fugazi boots some fake boots on you know what i mean um so the advantage that i had was that i was an artist and i could draw very well i was the best artist in, in my class at the time so what i did was that i took a pen and i drew an identical tree the same logo of the template on my boot and nobody knew that it, that i had fake tims on nobody knew until i told them years later on of course but that year I, I felt like the most attractive guy because i had on attractive boots and apparently if you had on attractive clothes or anything that everyone had then you were attractive you you had a you gave yourself a higher chance to uh attract right but the crazy thing about it is that's what a lot of us are doing right now we're we're adding accessories to ourselves we're adding embellishments to ourselves. We're changing our external appearance and the things on the outside to attract or become more attractive. But that's not what's going to get you what you need. Most things that are attractive tend to pull in things that you want in your life. They usually pull things in that you uh, desire or have a lust for even, right? But those attractive things, trying to become attractive, trying to become more attractive, does not necessarily mean you're gonna bring in the things that are necessary for you, suited for you, your necessities, the things that you need. This video is super uber important because we tend to mix the meaning of attraction with another word, another term, something that's way more uh, important than attractiveness, something that is deeper, more profound than attraction, and that is beauty. Beauty. Now, why is that the word beauty, the term beauty, more important than attractiveness? A lot of people might say, yo, it's the same thing. It's not. I won't even say it's a synonym. They are not even cousins. What I will say is that beautiful 
Beauty is the parent to attraction. Attraction is a part of beauty. Attraction is a subset of beauty, not the other way around. As you know me, I'm gonna break it down as best as, as possible and, and, and how I believe things, right? To me, if I was to put this in a visual representation, beauty is the whole pie. Attraction is a slice of that pie. Attraction is never the pie. And when you make attraction the pie, that's where you mess up. That's where you attract negative things. That's when you attract toxic things. That's toxic situations, uh, toxic relationships. That's when you attract everything that you don't need. But when you prioritize your beauty, when you realize that beauty is the pie graph, that, that that's the whole circumference. That's when you start to pull in the things that are necessary for you. Those blessings, those honorable people that change your lives, they get attracted to people who realize their beauty. I couldn't care less about attraction because attraction will not give me what I need. Attraction may reel me in, but beauty is going to keep me there. Because let's think about it. Let's be real here. Attraction is linked to the physical realm. It is linked to the visual perspective on things. Attraction is, is, is related to uh, the physical traits, the things you see. Uh, attraction is linked to your senses. So we all can find something attractive because if it smells good or if it looks good to our eyes based on our preference, then anything could be attractive if you see fit. But one thing about a beauty is that <laughs> beauty is everything. Beauty was defined on the first moments of your conception, the first steps in your creation. You were beautiful. You started off beautiful. You're going to go through beauty and you're going to end beautiful. You have no choice but to be beautiful. I'm sorry. Not sorry. Attraction is only based on the things perceived by our senses, but beauty is inherited. You have no choice but to be beautiful. I'm here to tell you that. I'm here to remind you that. I'm here to let you know. If you didn't know, now you know. You know what makes us beautiful, though? I'm not just talking. There's, there's reasons why I believe this, and I believe it's fact. Beauty is based on the things that make us who we are. We're beautiful because we were created by something so great and grand that our minds can barely comprehend it. We're beautiful because we are created by atoms, these small microscopic things, elements that come together to build our bodies and our organs and our brains have sparks of electricity that transfers and data and information be between our body functions and our body parts. It, the utter ability to speak different languages to different types of people on this earth. The feeling you get when you really love something or someone. The feeling you get when you're excited or when you're angry. That rush. You're feeling this thing called blood go through your body. That life force. Seeing colors and that's all beautiful but it's only beautiful because of your beauty. I gotta apologize for taking you on that sci-fi journey I just put you on, but I just wanna show you the, the bare essence of why you are beautiful no matter what and that you have no choice in it. We were erected and created in beauty. You, you can't break that, you can't get out of that, you're stuck. Beauty is a fact, attraction is an opinion. So which one are you gonna invest in more? You see, we live in a society today where they prioritize on attraction more than they do beauty. Companies make way more money on attraction than they ever will on beauty. And it was set up like this purposely to drive you away from your self-awareness, your self-awareness of your own beauty, because they know attraction sells. You can modify attraction. You could change and you can mold attraction. Whatever agenda they put out there in these streets and on these TVs and in these movies, it leads people's minds to what attraction is. So if your mind is not strong enough to be able to stand firm on who you are and on your beauty, if you don't understand your beauty, if you haven't grasped onto your beauty, then you are liable to be brainwashed by their definition of what attractiveness is. Attractiveness is put on the pedestal. 
So everything you see is all about attraction. So now you feel like you have to be attractive, right? So now you out here going and spending money and going to, to, in, into debt, buying these, these shoes and these cars and these houses and this jewelry that you can't afford. You're basing all of your desires and all the actions that you do in your life is based on what you think attractive is. You're listening to everybody and listening to their definitions of what attractiveness is. And now it becomes your definition of attractiveness because you have no sense of what attractiveness is. And I'm just talking about attractiveness right now. I'm not even talking about beauty. And now you're listening to everyone's definition of what beauty is and what attractiveness is. And because you have no sense of your beauty, you're listening to everyone and you're taking it all in. And now you're making their definition, your definition of what it, it is to look good or what it takes to become better or look better. You have no self foundation. And I look into the world and I see people going in, into debt to become more attractive. They're messing up their bodies. They're modifying their bodies, borderline Frankenstein type stuff to look more attractive. So let me ask you this. Who are you trying to look more attractive for? Because attraction is, is dedicated to a certain demographic. Attraction is dedicated to a certain group that you want to attract. Know this. Beauty does not direct to anyone or anything. It does not direct to a certain type of group of people. It does not direct to a certain type of group of thing. Beauty is beauty. Beauty is all things and no thing. Beauty is God. Beauty is everything. Beauty has no chains. Beauty has no leash. It has no boundaries. Everything is beautiful in its own way. But what people will say is everything is not attractive. Of course, because what I say earlier, it is opinion based. It is opinion, but beauty is fact. So when we think about the things that we are trying to attract or, or trying to look better for, right? The things we are trying to create more attraction for, what are those things? I want you to visualize that man in your head or that woman in your head that you're trying to get more attractive for. That type of person that you're trying to get more attractive for, all right? So I'm doing it with you right now. Okay, okay. You have a preference, okay? You have it. You see, you're looking at it right now. I want to be more attractive for this type of person, all right? So now let's think. Is that type of person really what we need? Or is it just something that we want? Will this type of person feed my palate or will it feed my soul? Is this type of person temporary? I kind of like him. Oh, I like her or do I love her I need her I need him is this type of person gonna be a phase in your life you don't see yourself investing in this you just want it or is this type of person going to be a lifelong partner a lifelong goal you, do you see what I'm trying to like get to you the day I realized that attraction was crap that attraction was something I never wanted to invest in any longer. So I used to have a relative, I won't say who, um, for privacy purposes, but I used to have a relative and she would uh, go in the mirror every day, put on makeup, you know, fix up her hair, uh, wear nice clothes, cause she usually, you know, wore chill clothes, but she would do all these things and she would go to a man that abused her. She would do this every week. She would stay with this guy who verbally abused her and physically abused her. But best believe every day when she got back, she would put her makeup on. She would put her jewelry on. She would make sure that she looked top notch for this guy who didn't deserve her. This guy that found her attractive, but he didn't find her beautiful. You can't tell me there's no difference between attraction and beautiful. I I've seen it with my own eyes. I felt that. I felt... I started to feel hatred for people who invested in attraction and not beauty because those type of people usually don't respect people because how can you invest in something that's temporary, which is attraction? How can you invest in something that's opinion based, which is attraction? You cannot respect me if you don't respect my beauty. I cannot respect myself if I don't respect my own beauty. I could care less about attraction. We're all going to get older. 
we're all getting older. Every single second of our lives, we are getting older, not younger. Our skins are starting to starting to sag. We're starting to get these weird bumps and moles, and uh, and you're you're not as fit as you used to be. And you're gaining body fat, and so because of these this this metamorphosis in our human lives, we know that attraction changes. You might have been the baddest woman in the world in your twenties. 30 years later, you're 50. Those same people that you attract in your 20s are going to be different at your 50s. Attraction changes. Attraction has no loyalty. But your beauty is it is going nowhere. And that is why beauty is so important. <laughs> it is who we are. Once we lose sight of our beauty, we lose sight of ourselves. We lose our identity. And now we're chasing things. We're chasing. We're running we're running for attraction. We're trying to figure out how to be more attractive. That forget attraction. Forget attraction. Forget all those videos that 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 tell you, oh, these are the best ways to make yourself more attraction. I did a video like that one time. And now I'm looking back. I'm saying, you know what? Forget that. Forget attraction. We don't need to become more attractive. We need to realize our beauty. Simple point blank. Period. We are beauty. We need to regain that sense of our original God-given natural beauty. Because when you realize your beauty, the things that are compatible with your beautiness, your beautifulness, because you are beautiful, those things will be for you. But if we chase attractiveness, you will catch everything that ain't for you. You will catch temporary things. You will catch these relationships, these guys that just want to have sex with you or they just want you for your looks. They want you because you have a nice car, young sir. They want you because you have money. You're throwing it out in the club. Or they want you because you're you're flashy. Or they want you because they can see that they can benefit something from you. That is temporary. Anything that you can lose is temporary. But guess what you can't lose? Just guess what you can't. Based on this video, just guess what ain't going nowhere. Just guess. Yes, your beauty, it ain't going nowhere. Like I said early in this video, you are beautiful. You have no choice in the matter. I don't even know you. I can't see you, but you can see me, but I can't see you through these lenses. But one thing I know that is guaranteed is that you're beautiful. Now it's your choice to claim it. That's the only thing that matters. Don't worry about being more attractive. Worry about claiming your beauty. Worry about reminding yourself that you're beautiful. Worry about finding your beauty. If you've got lost in the fields of life and the tribulations and, and the stresses of life have turned you away from your identity, your self-awareness of who you are and your beauty, I want you to find that journey to get back to that place where you loved yourself, where you looked in the mirror and you said, I am beautiful. You don't even need a mirror. You can hear yourself. You're like, oh, I speak beautiful. I was born beautiful because I was made from something that was beautiful. I come from beauty. Beauty is in my blood. Beauty is in my DNA. I can't stop that. From this day forward, forget about attractiveness. You understand me? Reclaim your beauty. You have no choice. This is your guy, Seals the Man, with a nightly reminder. Hopefully this message will help somebody out there. Because this message helped me. We're all beautiful. I'm beautiful. You're beautiful. Let's get it. Peace and blessings. Goodbye.